and that's it so if I click in here yes it looks a little bit better well now we have these detections things and now uh, we need to check what to do right now so to do that we are going to check the detection okay and we're going uh, we're going to detect or this like a setting a flag or something so we're going to go for the right or left if you click you can see it and the right edge so let's start with the right edge so when we press the right edge this is going to happen when we press start or this flag where this is the initial values for this one we are going to show it I know it is visible but you will see why okay then we are going to uh, add a loop a forever loop because we want to detect okay if we have any collision so forever and then we are going to insert a condition the condition is inside this loop if we are touching an enemy so we are going to okay tell this enemy to return okay so how to do that well well we are going to first go to sensing in the blue ones then touching and then from the drop menu you select enemy because it's this insects if touching enemy then what we are going to do okay so well if we are touching the enemy we are going to change the speed of these guys or the direction okay so how to do that well i will tell you okay so let's go again to insect or to the enemy so this enemy is moving 50 steps positive number it's going to the right so why if we create here a variable and this variable it will be um, x direction so x direction and let's call it move move x and then we call this direction that's it oh sorry for that and this is for all sprites this is like a global variable okay so it is available for all the sprites so now we just select OK and then you have here to change this similar to App Inventor well so now what if instead of 50 when we start the game we set this variable so we set this variable to this value that is moving so to 50 change to 50 then if we want to use this value here we just have to use move x direction and insert it in there if we click we stop we click and we play I get the spacebar we wait two seconds and it's moving now when I get to this I want to change the direction to minus 50 minus 50 okay so now uh, just let me check something because I see I guess they are moving a lot yeah they are moving a lot so we are going to change the space okay so we are not going to space them a lot so 15 I guess it, it will be okay first yes they are together more together then this one it's okay that one and then for that thing probably not 50 but what if I change this to 40 40 then we play we wait two seconds yes it's better so now we have this the enemy it's moving in this direction but when we collide with this I want to change the speed to negative number minus 40 so how to know that well in this case we have we are going to use something we go to the right edge edge and then we select in here uh, control no event sorry and just have something called broadcast okay 
So broadcast is to send a message. So we are going to send a, this sprite is going to send a message to this. Hey, you know what? They collide in here, so now you change the speed. Okay, so we're going to change the speed. So let's do it. Let's use broadcast. And then we are going to see uh, what can we do in this case. So first, we want the sprites, the insects, to stop in here. To stop them, we are going to change the speed or the direction. My, uh, I mean, we are going to set it to zero. Then we are going to send the message. We are going to call this message um, down. Go down. Why? Because as in Space Invaders, I want these guys to get here, down, and return. So we are going to broadcast this thing, or this message, and then we are going to hide this, because if we don't hide the sprite, they will be, the insects will be like colliding all the time with this, and they will stay here in zero. Okay, so we are going to hide in loops, hide. We are going to hide this bar. Okay? Then, we return, we send the message broadcast to these insects. So now, the insects have to do something when they receive this message uh, broadcast. So we go to events, and then we go, when I receive. I select when I receive, and then I drop down for go down. So what are they going to do when they receive a uh, down? So, well, in this case, the insects, they have to wait for a second. They wait a second. Yes? Well, in this case, they are going to wait for the time that we have. Okay? So, we're going to say one second, and we're going to create a variable for the seconds, guys. Because we're going to use the same, because everybody has to move like in uh, very very well coordinated so we're going to create a new variable we're going to call it seconds let's call it my seconds a variable global variable then we're going to insert it in here and we're going to define this variable when i click this so at the beginning it's one second so let's use that okay this no is necessary in this case just for the movement of the uh, sprites so we are going to select here wait my seconds and then when i receive go down i'm going to tell the insects hey wait a little bit and then change your y position y y then i select a value to go down for example here the it is in 44 and then if I move it in here, it's three. So probably move down minus, let's say minus 10. Let's see what's happening. Okay, because down it's moving this to negative values. Then we are going to set the speed to return everything to move. Okay, we're going to set the speed, reset the speed also over here, drop my direction we are going to move the direction again now to the opposite to minus 40 so now let's see what's happening now if we have any lock we're going to leave this thing in one do not wait a lot i press the space key okay then we have this then we have this message when they collide and they are not returning so we need to check why they are not returning so in this case we need to tell them a hey, you know not why so we are going to receive wait change and then move the speed so let's just uh, analyze what is happening so we have all the clones okay so let's go in here to this right edge and then let's analyze this stuff 
and we have to change so we say the instruction that it's go down so go down and when you go down if you are touching my enemy set the move direction to zero then send go down and then hide so and then let's see let's fix this part okay well the problem in here that we have is that check where we should move direction so this will we will change uh, <clears throat> The sprites but I am confused I got confused with this okay so because move steps we're going to use 40 no for about for move steps we're going to use here line 35 for example and this is just to create the clones so they are very close so let's set it to 40 and then for moving it was here when I press the key so this is the value that I want to use okay so and then I'm going to use here 20 and then we are going to drag this my direction because it's going to change for that that's why it's not using the move direction so let's press the space bar sorry now it's moving 20 that it's this here down and then it's moving over there so of course we need to change something because in this case I changed the, the move direction and now let's set it equally but just in negative so that it's minus 20 we play with the space one now what's next guys the next idea it is here to send the message, we send the message, go down, and hey, you know, I touch the insect. I disappear and then send the message to the insects to change the direction. Now, also, this same, the same message has to be sent to this friend, because this friend now has to show. Well, let's suppose that this is not like showing, okay? So, um, we are going to do that like this. We are going to go to events. When I receive, go down. I'm going to show obviously we are not going to be able to see this thing because it not it looks like horrible so what well, when I receive it go down okay show show this uh, bar the second bar and it's probably quite the same the same blocks as in this one so we're going to click in here and we have like a bath okay uh, as in App Inventor, instead of copying everything, you just drag this thing here and you have your script over there. So you can also delete scripts here. For example, I delete, 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 because I have too many. Delete, 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 and then I drag this one again just to show you, and you have your block over there. I return to this one because we're going to use something similar so now when I touch an enemy then we're going to set to zero and then broadcast go down no in this case we're going to broadcast another new message we're going to call it go down and to remember this go down to and left okay so now this is going to receive this message and it's going to be hide okay so that is the idea now this go down to it will send the message and first the message is received by the insects so insects will receive this message and it's similar to this one so we are going to duplicate this one when I received the go down and then we change to go down to and then everything stays the same in is set for this we change this to 20 that's it and what happens when this guy disappear send the message to this guy that now is invisible and you say hey you know now 
they are going to the right so appear okay so the, we are going to go to the right edge and we are going to say hey when I receive go down to show okay so we are going to go to look show and in that case let's see what is happening right now so we have this so they are moving that way and then when they return they will appear the other down and they move little by little okay so basically that is the idea and then it returns this 